What is up, guys? This is Justin, a.k.a. FMDG9. I'm here with an episode number one, The Reign of Red Star. You guys voted on the series. Uh, we gave you a couple teams. I think it was four teams, and you voted on it. And the intro video trailer that I just posted um, Saturday, when I, um, which is today when I recorded this, um, hope you, hopefully you guys liked it. It went way longer than I thought. But hey, uh, let's get into the what you guys came to see. All right, guys, welcome back. Here we are. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this. I have it over here. How to say it? Zervena Zuvedas. Zervena Zuvezda. Red Star, Red Star Belgrade, um, confirmed appointment. FM Digi is club's new head coach. Eyebrows raised, the same thing that always gets put on there. Seven point five k a week. Um, we're gonna see. Um, the main goal here: Champions League success, European success. This team wins all the time. Um, we'll go in and look to see their reputation and what's um, kind of what they've done in the past but um, actually I didn't know much about this club um, uh, when I was doing my research for this I looked into um, European clubs or I'm sorry European nations smaller nations that had um, one one or two overwhelmingly or clubs that are overwhelming above everyone else um, had Red, Red Star and um, Gosh, I can't remember the rival. I'll see it in a minute. Um, there we go. Partisan um, right there. So I, you know, put it put up the poll, and I think it was probably about 39% of people voted Red Star. Um, so we had a team in uh, Hungary, Wales, and I can't remember the other one. But yeah, I mean, this is fun. I have learned quite a bit about Red Star. In fact, I have learned that this is their old logo. Um, their new logo has three stars on it. Um, I forget what the stars represent. If someone knows, let me know down below. Um, but I've done a ton of research. I've learned their fans kind of not the best in terms of uh, savory fellows, fellas, whatnot. If you are one, I'm sorry. But I've seen lots of fires in the stands and stuff like that in my uh, research for this, but um, I'm excited to get in. Uh, so yeah, they found in 1945, uh, professional Serbian club playing in the Linglong Tire Superliga, uh, lifted the Superliga title and the Cup Serie B winners. Um, see here, um, I did uh, as you watched the trailer, which I hopefully you did. Um, Put a twist in this, uh, as you'll see here in a second. Stephen Redstar, the owner. Oh, Redstar, that's weird, last name. Um, there's our team. That's cool. I like the goalies number 82. So they're playing a, a, a defensive midfield, 4 2 4 4, four two. Uh, Let's see. So they want us to develop players using the club's youth system, sign high reputation players, play attacking soccer. Um, it's funny, I never realized that because I'm in America, it says soccer instead of football. Um, maintain the best youth system in the country. Club status, most reputable team in Serbia. Work within payroll budget. Want us to challenge for the Superliga. Win the Cup Serbi. Serbije. And reach the playoffs in the um, Champions League minimum. Um, contract ends. Just basically maintain this. One thing, um, if anyone knows this, I tried to have this be win the Superliga. It's set in the database to win the Superliga. I don't know how it's not doing that, but I specifically said I want to win Superliga. Not doing it. So if you know, let me know down below. Um, I'm curious how that how that works. I've never played with the um, Club Vision things. Um, I don't want any of these. Don't want any of these to come up. All those don't want to do that. 
All right, let's get in. Digi takes charge at Red Star. <laughs> Servana. Zuivez. Zuivezda. Servana. Zuivezda. I will try to get better with that. Um, Browser been raised. We've read all that already. Tactics introduction. We'll go over that. Um, we're pretty happy with the cups that we're going to be in and the vision. So we'll accept that preseason. Um, I'm going to try something where I'm going to do a lot of the training myself. So, um, yeah, hopefully that doesn't go south. Um, we do have some weird rules in Serbia, so I'm excited to see that. Um, yeah, we've seen all this. Uh, the big thing that will be changed here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, is, is this. This is what happens when a billionaire from the United States invests in the team that he grew up loving. We have 400 million in the bank, over you know, 400 million transfer budget. Payroll budget, we're not even close to a quarter of that. Um, scouting, I need to adjust right away. World, world. Let's do that first off. World, yep, okay. Um, I do have enough for that. Uh, I'm gonna move some of my budget over to cover that. Wow, not that much. Okay, that works. Um, <laughs> so, um, get in with this. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about this. So the backstory here, uh, for those of you who haven't watched the intro, which, I mean, just do, it's cool. I spent like eight hours putting that together for two and a half minutes. Um, basically, we have a guy from the United States, uh, Stephen Redstar, who um, grew up, Charlotte, North Carolina, um, in the uh, born in '79, I believe, um, late '80s, early '90s, fell in love. Um, you know, he played soccer as a kid, football. Sorry, he played as a kid um, in uh, the South of the U.S. and fell in love with the game. Uh, when he was 12, his parents got a satellite TV dish, and he was able to watch European football. And um, you know, one of the, the first matches he saw was Red Star versus um, Bayern Munich semifinal 1991 European Champions Cup. Um, he's like, hey, that team's the same name as me. Uh, so, you know, he fell in love, watched the final, watched them win on penalties, um, grew up to be, uh, or went to school, um, started a big tech, or a small, you know, started a tech company, ended up selling it for $4 billion last year or I guess 2019, um, in the game 2019. So yeah, just sold it and has bought Red Star. He has bought the team. He watched them as a kid win the Champions League and then just nothing since. I mean, they've had success. We'll, we can look at the success they've had over the over the time. Um, I mean, look at this. I mean, they're finishing third, first, 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 second, second, first. I mean, the worst finish they've had in you know 20 years is a third place finish in the league. I mean, that's, they're dominating this league. I mean, if you look at this, um, Super League, they've won 2019, 18, came in runner up 17, 16, runner up 15, 14, 13, 12. I mean, they're in the top two every freaking year. Um, in terms of the, um, Serbian cup, uh, not as much success there. Uh, Partizan is uh, kind of running the table lately with that, with our last win in 2012. But uh, that's going to change. We got new uh, new things in in store. Um, oops. So also um, affiliates. I did want to look at that. We do have a few affiliates, um, all within Serbia. I would like to kind of stretch out, maybe get an American affiliate and um, an affiliate somewhere in Asia to kind of boost up the reputation of the of the team uh, so i will be 
doing that of her affiliate club. Um, increase her profile. Good. Okay. Um, I'm, one of the other things I want to do is ask them to upgrade these things. But since I just started, I'm hesitant to do that. Um, and one of the things they want me to do is to develop players using our youth system, uh, which let's get a look in. Below average, below average, average, average. We could do better. Um, let's check our reserve squad. Oh, one of these things. Okay. Um, just offer contracts to all these guys. I hate, I hate this. Let me know uh, down below how to not do this, how to not have this. Under 19s, same thing. I really don't want to have to do this kind of stuff just to see who my players are. All right, oops. Can I offer them contracts? Huh, I can't even offer my under 19s contracts there. Is there 15, 16, 17, 16? That's weird. Um, but yeah, so let's go back and look at the teams. Um, reserve squad. Overview on there. Uh, we have to wait, so let's do a continue there, search for affiliate. Um, also, I did want to show you guys kind of how I set up the save, um, whatnot. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair. It is ungodly long. I have COVID mullet, um, hashtag COVID mullet. So, yeah, that's not, uh, not ideal. Remove all of these. I don't want to see them. We got here, oh, all the new deals, 100 bucks a week. We don't miss anything of excitement. We don't have any affiliate. Oh, uh, one other thing I did want to show you guys is the rules of the league. Um, 16 teams, they split into half after 30 matches. We'll go in here. Um, so you have say, 30 games, uh, two each, two against each team, and... The top eight will move on to group A, top B move into group B. Or I'm sorry, top eight, group A, bottom eight, group B. Um, group A will then battle for the championship of the league. Uh, also, uh, first place gets you uh, Champions League qualifying, Champions League champions first qualifying round. So they're in pretty early. Um, and then the next two teams qualify for Europa League first qualifying round. Um, there's not a lot of money in this league. So, um, one of the things, and I know it looks like, you know, I'm, I'm giving myself a bunch of money. Um, I'm kind of cheating the Superliga, but I'm not really playing so much for Superliga success. Obviously we need to have it to get into Champions League. We have to win the league, but this is all, the save is all about winning the Champions League, um, bringing glory back, um, the reign of Red Star. So we will dominate European football at the end. Um, sorry, sidetracked there. Um, group B will go into a playoff, re relegation playoff with the um, Priva, Priva League below us. Um, they're the ones below us, sorry. And that goes into a relegation playoff um, with team from downstairs, team from upstairs. But we should really never, ever see that. If we do, I expect to be fired long before that. Um, rules. Uh, no more than four players, four foreign players in match squad. Um, so when we sign people from out of the country, they got to be good. They got to be good. Only the best. Um, Players registered, seven subs name, three used. I thought there were some other rules in here. Unless I was putzing around with other things. Um, registration. Max team size is 30 players, so a little bit bigger than Premier League 25 players. Um, I think that's it. Really interesting things. Players on freeze can be registered any time, which is cool. Oh, registered players who pick up a long-term injury can be replaced in the squad. That's kind of nice. You know, we have someone 
get a little uh, shattered, then we can replace them. So this is going to be interesting because I have a lot of money to spend, but I can only spend it on, you know, four players in the match squad. So we'll see how that is. Um, you know, who want us to challenge for this, reach the playoff in the Champions League, and win this cup. Uh, so why don't I go? All right, guys, what is up? We are back. Um, gone about two weeks here. Uh, we just had the first qualifying round Champions League draw. We will be going up against uh, football club CFR 1907 Cluj out of Romania. Um, be a decent club. Um, I don't know. Let's gonna do what we do. Got to get by these guys. Let's see. Oh. Oh, second round draw as, as well. So you guys get to watch that. We will be playing Tel Aviv, Maccabi, Maccabi, Tel Aviv. Once we beat Cluj, and it'll be a home match. So that'll be cool. Um, interesting. Good. Not a lot um, has gone. I'm actually seeing some weird things with this save that... Uh, did not see um, or did not anticipate. Let me add match review to this. Um, I'm having a hard time signing players. Uh, I can, you know, show you here. Oof, 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 oof. So, um, with the Serbian requirement uh, having to play only a match squad of four uh, foreign players, Max, I wanted to try to look. Serbian players, so I scouted the entire Serbian national team um, and went through, made some offers to them. Uh, first guy was not interested in us. Uh, again, someone else not interested. Uh, an interesting Matic. Um, we got into an issue with him where he wanted more money than we can offer. I'm not sure. There seems to be some sort of a cap and how much money I can offer maximum. It seems to be set at 78000 a week. Um, I find that odd. I actually moved the payroll, took a little bit out of the transfer budget, moved payroll up here thinking that might fix it, but it's not. Um, so I'm confused as to what's going on there. So basically I'm having to do something I hate doing and adding appearance fees and bumping those up to like 20K a game and whatnot. Um, I did have one player. Um, so basically, I tried to get these guys. Nobody wanted, um, you know, this. Both of these guys were uh, two potential really good players that I was excited about. Neither one of them wanted to come, so I expressed interest. Uh, they replied back with, we don't give a crap. Um, so uh, I forget where this guy plays. I think he plays Fulham. Yeah, the other one plays, I think, Crystal Palace. So... Come on, man. I mean, are we not better than them? Crystal Palace, they're a Premier League side. Okay, good. Fulham is a champions uh, championship side, I believe. So, oops. I'm not smartest here. Petrovic, Fulham. Yeah, they're in the championship. I'm the number one team in Serbia, and they don't want to play for me. Good luck seeing the Champions League. Um... So things like that are a little bit disheartening, but you know what? This first year, uh, expect reputation not to be very high. Um, and you know we got to fight to get our reputation up, and that's what I'm trying to do one step at a time, trying to bring in as many Serbian players as I can. I'll show you guys the transfers I've made. Um, oh, yeah, no one's coming officially yet. I did sell one player, and he got upset about it. Um, Brazilian Yander, um, he was surplus out there. Plus, um, you know, he's someone who's not Serbian, who I can get rid of, get off the books, and not have to worry about. So I'm gonna try to pare the team down of non-Serbian players so that I can bring in the best of the best. Um, also updated the uh, staff a little bit. So I've maxed out <laughs> everything here. Um, I mean, if we don't have a doctor, I didn't notice that. Um, we have way too many scouts, apparently. Um, but they're all Serbian, so I can't really send them out too far. Um, I guess I could, but I'm letting the coaches handle that. Um, 
again, I have a lot of money. I'm going to have a lot of money, so I'm not as um, as uh, influenced by having to find cheap kids and sell them for profits. I'm not worried about that. You know, I need to win this season, next season. I need to win every season. So, you know, buying low and selling high is not really something that I'm in the mood to do. So trying to find good players now. Um, the set review. Let me know if you guys have any good uh, training regiments because I'm still bouncing around some. There was one uh, I saw last week. I think it was on FM Scout. Look good. Um, I was watching Bust the Net and I like what he's doing as well. But um, I need to find something that fits me and I can't really do that. I do like to do the match review every time I can. Um, but oh, I did want to look and see. I've been bringing some guys in for trials just to just to get a feel for how they are. Like the hair, I've got the Gordon Gecko Pat Riley thing going on because my hair is too long. Um, well, it's taken all day. I do also want to show you the leagues that I'm uh, getting in. Okay, here's a goalkeeper, but he's German. We'll just keep that up. Oof. Um, okay, we got a sports scientist moving over to one of our. Okay, this is good. Laroff, 32 years old. Um, right back. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons I want to get rid of Jander because this guy, Serbian. So he can get rid, I can get rid of, you know, he's another Serbian national that I can play. I don't have to worry about it. Let's bring him in. And I'm trying to bring in this guy. He's a wonder kid I saw on a, another thing. So we'll see. Operation. Um, I need to show you my tactics as well. Yeah, I'll come back to this. Uh, I do want to look at Club Vision. Um, trying to do this um, as much as I can. Say anything yet? Still reserving judgment. Um, did want to show you guys the leagues that I'm using. Oh, interesting. Okay, uh, I've added a bunch of leagues, but they're all view only, so maybe that's not why they're showing here. Um, basically, any country that touches Serbia or is in Eastern Europe, and then the main ones England, Spain, Portugal, uh, France, Germany you know, those main European countries I've also added as well. And then I did that uh, trick where you go custom and you, I added every continent and every, you know, checked every box on everything. So it's a little bit slow going. Um, thus you see this and the one, but it's not that bad. Um, just saving takes a little bit. Moving between screens, I mean, you can see here it's not the end of the world. Maybe it is, I don't know. Um, doing a lot of friendlies too. It's early in the preseason so I know there's a lot of friendlies that happen um, that wasn't crazy long so this is good this is one of our biggest signings um, this is good um, where is he the 19s don't need to be registered All right, sign squad number. Port here, this kid looks good. Four stars, a current and potential striker. So he'd be our number one striker. Let's get the analyst report off of him. And I will be right back. I think the doorbell just rang. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, you can see it is the 10th of July, 2019. We've made quite a few uh, moves here and there. Um, getting ready to play the Champions League games. Um, I will play that next episode, so leave off here. But um, got very pleased on signing high reputation players. I'm happy about that. Uh, let's go and look at those guys. So to start off with, we have purchased Kolarov. Um, First off, he is a four and a half star um, left back, 
uh, center mid, or I'm sorry, uh, de center defender, central defender, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we're going to play him on the right side, or I'm sorry, the left side. Um, 33 years old, it's a little old, but um, you know we're in win now mode. He's just got some fantastic numbers all around. Uh, got him for six and a half mil. Um, next off, we got this wonder kid, uh, Quatara, which we've promptly loaned out. <clears throat> um, this is a future move. He's four and a half star potential. So yes, we will let him um, do things somewhere else for a little while. Um, Marancic from Russia. Um, he is a Russian national, so one of our four uh, non-Serbian players. I'm looking to get rid of Sinango, but he is a loanee who's only here to December, so I might have to shelf Marancic until December, um, which is fine. We can do that. Um, but yeah, Sinango, I can't uh, cancel his loan. Um, that was done before I wandered through the doors, so he's basically um, main midfielder out there, but right now they can pair up uh, let's see who else we brought in Ivanovic from Zenit. He is a uh, Serbian, uh, 35 years old, play right back, but the best one we can we can get, um, pretty cheap. But I think he'll be good in the mentoring and such like that. I mean, teamwork of 18, determination 19, determination of 19. Holy cow, that's awesome. Um, Uros Bajic, uh, play center back. He's another one. Um, I just like his numbers, solid all around, able to shore up that back line, um, give us some depth. Three and a half uh, stars, current and potential ability. Not a lot of cons. Um, very competitive, and you know those cons are cons I can live with. And uh, oops, Nikola Maksinovich, uh, twenty-seven-year-old center back as well. And also play on the right side, a little bit on the left. Um, great numbers, great physicals. Uh, that jumping of 17, plus he's 6'4". This is a guy whose head I want in the box on corners and uh, free kicks. So I like I like what I'm seeing here. Um, so those are some of the big signings we made. And then um, the only th people out so far have been Jander. And then we loaned out Quatara, Oatra. Oatra. Not a Q dummy. Um, the one here, finances, you can see we have spent quite a bit of money. Our currently spending is about um, half of what we're allowed, so that's fine. But, uh, you know, it's going to keep, it's probably going to leave it at this. I have um, run into an interesting issue I mentioned before where I can't really uh, offer anyone more than 70 grand a week. So I know I can't bring in, you know, someone like Jaden Sancho or Erling Harlan. I can't even, talk, I'm not even going to even try those guys. Um, that's something I'll do next year. Uh, right now, trying to shore up the Serbian players on the team. Um, kind of trying to get the best. We've had some issues, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see. I think most of these guys are Serbian. Yeah, me, Serbian, Serbian. Serbian, I think we only brought in one. Yeah, the Russian right there. Guy's from Ivory Coast, but he's not going to be on the match squad. Serbian. Yeah, that's what we brought in. So we brought in basically all Serbians, but one Russian. Um, so not too bad. And then in December, we'll get rid of Sinangu um, from his loan. But um, preseason looked pretty good. Um, you know, I didn't play the games, but... Uh, you know, they're using the tactic all the ways. So we haven't actually had a home game yet, but we are you know, slated to go against Cluj in the uh, Champions League. So that'll be tomorrow's episode. Um, lastly, any transfers going on currently? Um, got a few guys coming in next year, and then um, we have a contract offer out to um, Vahalovic here. Um, and then another one rejected. Remember, oh yeah, this guy. Um, I don't know why they rejected me. I'm trying to remember. We have had one. Oh, where is he? I do want to show you this kid. He's he got an interesting picture too. This one right here. Um, Serge Milinkovic Savic 
uh, five stars. I mean, fantastic player and can play a lot of places. Um, my board told me I shouldn't even go for him. Uh, so I might just keep him on my radar for now until I get this financial situation sorted. Um, but he is someone I want Serbian. So this is like the best of the best. But um, salute you, sir. All right, guys. Thank you so much. That was episode number one of the Reign of Red Star. Um, got to know the team. Got to see what's going on. Um, just kind of see the movement that's been happening. But um, appreciate you coming in and hanging out. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe thing right there. And uh, there's two videos that will show up over there for you to look at once you're done with this one. But I appreciate all the love. Hopefully this you guys enjoy this series. I'm looking forward to it a lot. Um, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.